Hi everyone, in this video I am going to discuss about the quality factor of cavity resonators. So why we need to discuss about the quality factor in the cavity resonator is cavity resonator acts like a resonant circuit nothing but a tank circuit a tuned circuit it oscillates the signal at one particular frequency okay suppose if you are talking about one particular frequency it is having one resonant frequency if you are talking for one mode okay like that we have infinite number of modes okay so yeah for all these infinite number of modes it will be having infinite number of resonant frequencies so if you are talking about one particular mode one particular resonant frequency you should talk about okay so uh, the main application for this cavity resonator is it is used in uh, microwave transmission lines as a tuned circuit as a tuned circuit what is the purpose of tuned circuit in our normal terminology tuned circuit is used to oscillate the signal at one particular frequency nothing but resonant frequency so at that particular frequency the number of sig the signal is being oscillated to one point okay so that is the main purpose of the cavity resonator as it is working as a tuned circuit we should also know what should be the quality of this tuned circuit okay because it is consisting of capacitance and as well as inductance <coughs> okay that means how much is the energy stored inside the uh, inductor and what is the amount of power dissipated in the form of resistance that we should concentrate to measure what is the amount of uh, stored energy and what is the amount of power dissipated in the form of quality factor so the quality factor the quality factor indicates the qualitative behavior of The quality factor indicates the qualitative behavior of simple damper oscillators. Simple damper oscillators. So the common definition, the common definition for q is the ratio of the energy stored the ratio of the energy stored in the waveguide resonator to the energy dissipated per cycle by damping process. Okay. See here the common definition of this quality factor is defined as the ratio of the quality factor is generally defined as the ratio of energy stored in the waveguide resonator. <coughs> the, the, what is the amount of energy stored to the what is the amount of energy dissipated? Okay, that is the definition of quality factor. That means how much energy stored by how much energy wasted or dissipated or lost in the process of damping oscillations okay that is the definition of quality factor so for electric circuits we generally uh, say the energy loss within the circuits is completely caused by the resistance completely caused by resistance or we can say in the waveguides it is copper loss okay uh, 
generally for electronic circuits generally for electronic circuits energy loss energy loss within the circuit within the circuit caused by resistance or copper loss <coughs> resistance or copper loss okay copper loss or resistance loss copper loss or resistance loss generally electronic circuits are referred to as resistance loss and in the waveguide we can say the power loss is due to copper loss so copper loss or resistance loss is the main factor which governs the q factor or quality factor of the waveguide resonator of the waveguide resonator okay so it influences the overall quality of the waveguide resonator what is the amount of loss suppose if the amount of loss is more then quality is less if the amount of loss is less then the quality factor of that waveguide resonator is more that means the quality factor is uh, completely dependent on the what is the amount of loss provided by this resistance or else copper okay so if we draw the characteristics between the frequency and response of this cavity designator they are like your tuned circuit characteristics so this is frequency and this is response or gain or amplitude you can call it as in any way if you draw the characteristics of this uh, cavity designator a particular mode Suppose for one mode, it will be like this. And for second mode, it will be like this. And for third mode, it will be like this. So all these are acting like tuned circuits. All these are acting like tuned circuit <coughs> behavior so what happens as you are going away from this mode to mode the quality factor q increases q increases what about the bandwidth bandwidth decreases so bandwidth is inversely proportional to quality factor if quality factor increases what about the bandwidth bandwidth decreases if quality factor decreases bandwidth increases so both are inversely proportional to each other okay that is the main theme of this tuned circuits okay that means what happens as the quality factor increases means as the quality factor increases means the circuit becomes more the response becomes more sharper the response becomes more sharper that means it is having low loss now so the quality factor q from the definition q factor or quality factor is given by q is equal to 2 pi into maximum energy stored per cycle maximum 
energy stored per cycle divided by energy dissipated energy dissipated per cycle okay so for a wave guide for a wave guide the energy stored primarily the energy stored primarily depends on the volume depends on the volume and the energy dissipated is a function of surface area and skin depth see what i have written so for a wave guide suppose any type of wave guide okay suppose if you are taking a rectangular wave guide for the rectangular wave guide the energy stored primarily see in the numerator we have energy stored and the denominator we have energy dissipated so the energy stored is a function of volume and and energy dissipated is a function of surface area and the skin depth so we can rewrite the equation q is equal to 2 into volume by delta s into surface area delta s into surface area so what do you mean by delta s delta s is where delta s is <coughs> skin depth delta s is nothing but skin depth okay suppose if you are taking for a rectangular cavity resonator for a rectangular cavity resonator with dimensions with dimensions a is equal to 2.2 sorry sorry with the dimensions A, B, and D. So, what is A and B and D? If you take any rectangular waveguide, if you take any rectangular waveguide, okay, already we know the dimensions of rectangular waveguide. This is breadth A, and this is width B, okay and the length we have taken it as d okay these are the dimensions of this rectangular cavity resonator so q is equal to see this d we have not discussed in the case of uh, rectangular waveguides but in the cavity resonator we should discuss because what is the length of the cavity resonator we should know okay q is equal to 2 into volume 2 into volume volume is nothing but now here a into b into d divided by delta s nothing but skin depth into 2 into it is surface area is 2 into a b plus b d plus a d ok so this is the just formula for the rectangular cavity resonator quality factor so this is the quality factor of a waveguide okay, which decides the what is the amount of stored and energy stored per cycle divided by what is the amount of energy dissipated in the form of resistance or copper loss.
Thank you.